Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system training. And in today's lesson, we'll learn how to do importation of goods in SQL accounting system. In SQL, when you meet import item or stock from overseas, that means you are purchasing from overseas. So you need to maintain your supplier by using foreign currency. So for example, this we have an overseas supplier and you maintain them under USD. Now you need to have the foreign currency module in order to do this. So the next steps will be you need to do a purchase. A purchase invoice as normal. So this overseas supplier, select an item, let's say blue pen, 1000. So because this is an overseas purchase, that means the tax code need to be IM0 in SQL accounting system. Now it's not IM. IM0 is a SQL self create tax code. You follow our way is IM0. So you save it. So you can make payment accordingly. Now the GSD only come into place where you clear your item from custom. There's two possibilities. The first possibility is that is that you clear the stuff custom by yourself. The second possibility is your forwarding agent will do that for you. So anyway, you need to create another purchase invoice. If you go and clear the custom by yourself, then you need to maintain custom as your supplier. Okay. Or it's by your forwarding agent. So you maintain them as your supplier as well. Now the tricks is over here because the item you purchase from overseas so the price of the item already charged by overseas supplier custom will only charge you GST on that item so to do that you need to do field chooser if you still remember is right click any column title field chooser and drag out three field okay or it's called import currency code, import currency rate, and import purchase amount. Another way is click on a very small button over here with many lines, the last three. Okay, so when you click at this import purchase amount, there's a three dot button, click into it. Now this is where you key. So the currency code, of course you can select back the USD, that means the supplier invoice currency the most important is the currency rate remember when you purchase there is a currency rate but when you clear custom the rate custom charge you might be different that indicate under the k1 form might be different what you need to do remember this whole part you must follow 100% how k1 form charge okay let's say when you purchase is 3.8 but in K1 form is stated 3.9, you follow K1 form. Okay. The purchase amount is in US dollar. Local amount is in Ringgit Malaysia. So you might ask Brian, this two amount is different from what I purchased. You need to follow what K1 form stated. So tax select I am now this is when you select I am so tax rate then you can see the local tax amount and remember this amount will be 100% same as K1 form again so this is your K1 form number and you click OK now you can see that the information that you key just now will appear under description and manually you can change this information over here meaning to say that if you do not purchase the foreign currency module you are still able to do this transaction because you are able to change the information over here the idea is to get the amount over, over this few column your forwarding agent may charge you for service charge and so on 
So if they do this, then the tax code will be TX. Okay, if they are a GST registered company. So this is how you handle importation of goods in SQL accounting system. It's very easy. Okay. So if you do have time, please drop by at my Facebook. It's facebook.com slash syntax technologies. Help me to like my page and then you can get all the latest information for SQL and also GST. If you want to refer to other SQL tutorial video, just go to my website. It's syntax.com.my. Click on YouTube and here you go. This all the tutorial video available. That's all for today. And once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.